Welcome to a new video with the electric trucker. As you know, I like to look beyond just trucks and explore what else can be electrified in the heavy duty sector. We've already seen ferries and all kinds of construction machinery, but there's another area we can electrify, agriculture. Today I'm visiting the company Onox, and Sebastian from Onox is going to show us their battery electric tractor. This is a four ton, 50 kilowatt electric tractor with the same connections that a diesel machine has. It has a distributed drive system, meaning there's one electric motor for the front axle, one for the rear axle, one for the hydraulics, and one for each of the PTOs in the front and rear. So it's an all wheel drive system. Both drive motors are identical. The 50 kilowatts is essentially the nominal power rating the system is designed for, but peak performance can go beyond that. The 50 kilowatts can be flexibly distributed, depending on the situation, to the axles, the hydraulics, or the PTOs. This PTO shaft here spins, and you can attach equipment to it, and there's an electric motor behind it. There's one in the front as well. Unlike a diesel tractor, which distributes mechanical power through a complex gearbox, we can do it all with five electric motors. The hydraulic system is also run by an electric motor and uh, can be adjusted precisely to the power required for each task. The main battery is permanently installed under the cab at the rear, so the tractor is always ready to go and has enough energy on board to perform a battery swap when needed. This prototype uses a 20 kilowatt hour NMC battery, but the production models will use LFP batteries. There are five slots for swappable batteries and each battery has 30 kilowatt hours. Depending on your setup, you can connect up to three batteries at once in the available mounting areas. Let's say you have a heavy equipment at the rear. Uh, you could put one battery between the axles and two more up front, and those front batteries also act as ballast weight. Uh, with diesel tractors, you often have to hang in a weight, but in this case, uh, the battery is the weight. Under heavy duty use, the built-in battery and three swappable ones will last about half a working day, but if work is less intense, obviously way longer. Um, but the batteries don't just power the vehicle, they also serve as energy storage for the farm. Ideally, they're recharged using solar energy, and during high use periods like harvest season, they can be swapped out quickly. The batteries in the front and rear can be picked up and dropped off by the tractor itself, but for the mid-mounted battery, you'll need a pallet jack or lift. Whereas trucks and cars typically use 400 or 800 volt systems, we're using a 48 volt system because we don't rely on fast charging and want to charge the batteries gently and slowly. And since the power is distributed across multiple motors and batteries, it is the least stressing on the batteries. Big advantages are that no high voltage certification is required to work and repair the vehicle, and a 48 volt system is much more affordable. This tractor is already good to go, we just need to select a gear. On this model, the hydraulic pump doesn't run continuously, which makes the system much more efficient and quieter. There's a release button on the gear lever, and then you can select a gear. Push forward for drive, left to switch between drive and reverse, and pull back for park. On the display, you can see the speed, cruise control, and PTO RPM. There's also a battery status display showing the charge level of all connected batteries, and a charge power indicator showing how much energy is flowing in or out of the batteries. Right now we're running on just the built-in battery. There are also different menus for setting PTO speed, hydraulic performance, regenerative braking, drive distribution, and steering mode. And there's a GPS system on board, so the tractor always knows exactly where it is and where it's going. The top speed of this prototype is 25 kilometers per hour, but the production version will go up to 40 kilometers per hour. And thanks to the regenerative braking, you can drive in a one pedal mode. The PTOs are also relatively quiet since the whole tractor doesn't have to be running just to operate them. And now we're grabbing a battery. Here we have a 300 kilogram battery that we can pick up without leaving the cab and without needing a second person. This one's a prototype, so the final production version will look a bit different and feature a single bundled cable for easier handling. Zack, schon ist drin. Now that it's connected, the second battery also shows up on the display. While it's not showing the charge level right on the main screen at the moment, if we go into the detailed menu, we can see that the voltage is nearly at its maximum, so the battery is almost fully charged. The fixed onboard battery can be charged via any of the five ports where external batteries are usually connected. 
We're currently working on the second generation of the system to make the vehicle even more production ready and more powerful. The plan is to begin delivering the first tractors to customers by the end of 2026. Thanks a lot, Sebastian, for your time. I'm honestly fully convinced. If you're working with this all day, it's just more efficient, quieter, and if you've got a solar setup on your farm, it makes even more sense to switch to an electric tractor. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.